and it's been one week since three Baltimore City firefighters died in the line of duty. Those firefighters went inside a vacant house while it was on fire January 24th after reports of people trapped inside. Tomorrow there will be a joint funeral for all three. As Ava Joy Burnett reports, on Monday Maryland's governor visited the two fire companies where the fallen heroes worked and he had a special honor. Governor Larry Hogan visited the two firehouses where Lieutenants Paul Buttram and Kelsey Sadler, along with firefighter Kenny Lacayo, spent their days in service to their community. They lost a, a sister and two brothers that, that are, uh, you know, it's a tough, tough time for these guys. The governor presented three memorial citations. He also got a chance to meet with firefighter John McMaster. He was on life support last Monday after the fire, but was able to pull through. So I got a chance to give him a couple hugs in here and give him a, a governor's coin. The recognitions come as the investigation continues into the deadly row home fire. The state fire marshal told WJZ that the investigation on site at South Stricker Street has been completed. No investigators were there Monday when we arrived, but in the next phase, they will take the evidence they've gathered here and try to find the cause for the deadliest fire in the department in decades. There's now a $100,000 reward to identify this person of interest because they may be able to help with the investigation. This prayer vigil in the Mount Clare Community Sunday will lead up to an extraordinary funeral at the convention center on Wednesday, where several thousand expected for the joint funeral. To have three firefighters together just after we just lost a police officer is uh, it's just unfathomable. That was Ava Joy Burnett reporting, and the Bakersfield Fire Department will be sending two of its own to the funeral service of those three Baltimore firefighters. Engineer Trey Jamar from Bakersfield Firefighters Pipes and Drums and Engineer Christian Marquez from the department's Honor Guard. They flew out this morning from Meadowsfield Airport, and they are set to return on Thursday.